something like that. Pink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No. So now we have the animal in blue one. Yep. Okay. okay. Now, each algae uh -huh. has a different time right. when it comes to aniline blue. Okay. The ceramium is probably going to go pretty fast. Okay. Other ones are going to take longer. Uh -huh. So this is another time where you use the expendable pieces mm -hmm. to practice to find out right. what dies well for how long. Okay. 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 Once you figure that out, you just keep using that time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So this part is learning by doing. It's learning by doing. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Now the so next keep step. that in the Okay. See this? Yeah. It's all blue. It is blue. Will that give you a lot of contrast? It is good. Uh, if it's, the cells are blue and the media that's in is blue, uh -huh. you're not going to see it very well. Okay. So that's when you want to do a little distinction. Now we want to remove the aniline blue. Okay. So we do the exact same thing again that mm -hmm. we did with the aniline blue. Right. We put a layer of water on the same side. Okay. Take a paper towel. Right. Do that again. Do that again. Exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. And we don't know what it's called in physics. <laughs> well. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's blue look lighter? Okay. Mm. That's a good technique. Mm -hmm. Tissue paper tell you a lot. Yeah. It was a little quicker. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Oops. Now when bubbles start appearing underneath it, uh -huh. that means you've drained a little too much of the water away. Right. So all you do is put a little more water on the same side. Okay. Right. We don't want bubble. No. Bubbles Keep that in mind. Green. No, mm -hmm. not bubble. Nope. Not bubble. Whatever you do, no bubble. And that's just patience. Yep, oh, that's yeah. it. That's the key. You really have to have patience. And passion also. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 I'm getting excited. Yes. I really want to see what happened. Okay. So now. Okay. There's something blue in there. Yeah. It's just a little of the dye left over. Okay. But some of the specimens are exposed. If you're doing this in your own lab, just keep putting water on the side till all of it is. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. And now we're ready to view the slide. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, we don't view the slide on the dissecting scope. No. We view it on a compound, compound microscope. microscope. Okay, let's do that. All right. Right. So, okay. Now we're moving over. Okay. Compound microscope. Right. Okay. We're just moving a little bit and then yeah. give you more space and to look at. Point. Yeah. Okay. And you have to tell us also what we should be looking at. Okay. You know, sometimes people just don't know what to look at. Mm -hmm. And that's hard. Right. That's really hard. Okay, so there's multiple things you want to look at. Okay. So, on the microscope, see, there are different levels of objectives. Right. Right? Okay. So we got the 4x, right. the 10x, okay. the 40x, and the 100. Right. Okay. okay. So, depending on how big your allergy is, okay. You're going to be using these for each different item. Okay. Like 4X might be good for a habit. Or habit. Or branching. branches. Okay. Branching or pattern. Yes, branching pattern. Okay. Um, what else? Looking at the general morphology. So you're looking general at like, morphology. If you make a cross section. Okay. You can see the whole cross section. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. So you'll see like maybe a single cortex layer. Uh-huh. Okay. With in the inside. Right. Okay. Or it'll be a solid composition. Mm-hmm. See how the cortex trans forms into the medulla. Right. These okay. Are all characters in the okay. Mind. So okay. that's a good thing to yeah. to look at. And we should observe that. We should observe it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you will increase them for right. the larger the things you want. So mm -hmm. see I want to look at the filaments. Right. So okay. I increase it to ten X or maybe forty X. Okay. I want to see where these filaments uh -huh. that are in the medulla uh -huh. are originating from. Right. Okay. Okay? Right. So you want to look at that. You want to see 
Where the if it has a periaxial cell, uh -huh. it, you know you can count them. Right. Sometimes okay. Sometimes it's not that clear. Uh huh. The so you increase the magnification. Right. Okay. Okay. Gland cells, where the gland cells mm -hmm. are on it. It's all right. in you know, location. Okay. And then there's also something else you could do with the microscope right. that can help you. Okay. So that's 10x. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Right. <laughs> right. That's the one I'm looking for. Now uh, then... Identify the algae. Yeah. Yes. So something that can help you identify the algae. Right. Okay. So, we can also measure. Measure. That's yeah. uh, important. Measure. Now, now, how are we going to do that? Now, in microscopes, yes. uh, microscopes, there's usually a scale bar right. for one of the oculars. Okay. okay. We need scale bar. Yep. We need a scale bar. Okay. Now, sometimes it's not in focus for your eyes. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you twist the ocular. Right. Until okay. it comes into focus. Okay. Okay. Then we have a scale bar. That sounds good. Now okay. That's good. Now. Is the scale bar going to be the same for every single magnification? No. no. It's you have to calibrate it for each single magnification. Right. That's important. So this is, yes, very important. Mm-hmm. Now, for example, right. if I have this microscope on 4x, okay. I look through my ocular, uh -huh. I see zero through one hundred. Okay. The specimen takes up let's see. Oh, oh that's a beautiful thing. That's good to hear. Yep. Beautiful thing underneath. Takes up five units. Five units? Five okay. Units. Five units. Okay. So, we've previously used a scale bar and figured right. out what each unit works. Okay. So, that's so what important. We do, okay. Yeah, is we write it You have on, something down there. Yep. Okay. So, we wrote down the values there. Right. Okay. So, that's good. Yep. Makes okay. life easier. Makes it nice and easy so you never forget. Okay. So, I'm looking through here. I know. That the filament's width is five units. Okay. Five units. At times at four x. At four x. Okay. We look at here. Four x equals twenty five micrometers per unit. Right. Okay. So then all we have to do is multiply times five. Oh, okay. So we know it's one hundred and twenty five. Micrometers. Okay, sounds good to yep. me. And you can do this for all the cells. Right, okay. You'll be able to identify. Yeah, okay. so measurement, that's important. Keep that yep. in mind. Measurement's good. Measurement, we need that. It's mm -hmm. a key collector mm -hmm. to identify algae. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else we can do? Apart from measurement? Apart from measurement? Yes. Okay. Sometimes you're also going to want to take pictures. Right, okay. okay. So, there's the, ch you know, you can buy the expensive camera. Right. That goes up here uh -huh. and everything like that. Uh -huh. You don't even actually have to do that. Right. What I do usually sometimes, I can put my finger this uh -huh. way. Okay. Put like a digital camera right. or something like that. Put it right here. Mm hmm It'll just can it'll just tilt it up and down, left and right. Right. And eventually it'll fill the entire uh -huh. scope right. of the camera. Okay. And then you can take a picture. So we would have a picture. We'll have a picture. Yeah. Make a plan. Exactly. And show it to the others. Show it to the others. Yes. How beautiful our algae are. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So good. Okay. But there's but also tips. Tips. For using a microscope. That's so good. Tips. Yeah. I like tips. Tips are good. Okay.